to connect, to find uh, allies, to also to escape my situation a bit because um, I haven't made any friends, I haven't socialized during those um, seven years and before that didn't work either because I've always been stuck in between male and female and I didn't fit anywhere. It's been, yeah, it's been lonely, it's still lonely and I'm really sick of it. Um, uh, Google Plus, of course, I mean, it's, the nice part is that it's the internet, it's, uh, it's large, it's, uh, you can connect to people you otherwise would never talk to, you can communicate things which are otherwise hard to communicate, and it's, it's, it, I mean, I've been on Google Plus for a few months now, and only yesterday it actually I actually found the right people. It's uh, people with the right connections were able to um, to communicate with others who might be able to help my cause. It's yeah, it's, it's not easy. It's not like you just arrive there, you post something on Google Plus, and it's like oh well, everything will be fine. If only. <laughs> That's not how it works, uh, sadly. But after yesterday, when I uh, ended up getting hang out, or got invited to hang out with a few really nice people, who have the right connections, who know people, they managed to share uh, my previous um, uh, blog video, and it's most people just don't seem to realize when there is something. In, first of all. If I, if I, if people see me, they do not think, oh, that person has an issue. And on Google Plus, it's even harder than normally in text written uh, fashion. You cannot see that person has an issue. If you look at me, I don't have an issue, except that I cry a lot. And if you ask about, well, my past is a bit weird because for, uh, well, officially I'm still male. <laughs> It doesn't really work. It's humiliating to identify myself officially. I've had past um, with a few people I've had. I mean, not even transsexuals uh, experience something this. Yeah, because you don't fit into the, the binary male female system. I mean, transsexuals, this transition between those. That's quite straightforward, easy for people to accept what I'm going through. I don't even understand, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, I have tried to um, I have to try to, to create context on Google Plus. There are a lot of people who are influential, but they just aren't social. I mean, yeah, it's a social network, but it doesn't mean that all people on there are social. It's yeah. It's society, it's, it's, I mean, just like in real life, you've got people who are totally caring, you've got total jerks, assholes, and worse. I mean, I have tried to, well, a lot of people on Google Plus have ignored my requests for help. So that's why it took a while, a few months before it actually, and people don't see that I have an issue except, well, <coughs> They were probably like, oh, that girl is just crying and uh, talking about suicide again, and yeah, they don't know. So it, it is hard to actually make it clear that something is going on. Just like I just learned today that someone I've been seeing around on Google Plus for a few months actually is, well, dying. I didn't know. So yeah, uh, after you have had to stuck up people, the bitches and other people who think they are way too important while they do not really contribute to the community, then you find the real people who are actually nice, who, uh, who realize the problem because it's not just me. I mean, as far as I know, I'm the only person who actually 
is is really trying to break this issue open like this. I haven't found any others yet. I mean, others are trying to do it in their own ways, but I, th I think this requires a lot of force, a lot of power. And it, it really needs to be broken over because a lot of people do not understand uh, the gravity of this problem and the extent of it. Because, uh, like yesterday when I was in this hangout with those nice people, one of them realized after a um, bit of googling and researching that there are tens if not hundreds of millions of people in this world who are into sex and who are suffering things similar uh, to what I've gone through just because they are born in a certain way that's unforgivable I think and I hope that starting with the Google Plus community, I think it'll spread to other um, social networks, and from there, maybe into the media and who knows what else. That's it, would be a very nice demonstration of how a revolution can start on the internet. How um, the situation for millions of people can be improved, and how we can finally progress a bit as a society, thanks to a very social social network. That's the intention, I guess, and I really hope it's going to work. Mm -hmm.